How to keep your man. How do you ensure that love lasts forever? There's seven things you always want to foster in your relationship and losing even one of them will cost you the guy in the long term. So in this video, I'm giving you seven things you must always have in your relationship. Stay tuned. How to keep your man. What does your relationship need to survive? Today I'm giving you seven things that you must always foster and if you lose any one of them, your relationship is in trouble. Number one, sex, or great sex. How often is sex a diagnostic marker of the health of your relationship? I remember in my very first relationship, the time that the sex started to go, that was the time we both knew we weren't right for each other. Sex isn't just a diagnostic marker either, it can be used as a treatment. You know, if you guys are fighting a lot, if you're having trouble, if you can't remember the last time you made love, set aside two weeks, do it every night. It's amazing how reconnected you'll feel once the sex gets back on track. They say that when sex is going well, it's only 20% of a good relationship, but when sex isn't going well, it can mean 100% of the failure in a bad one. So talk to your partner, look at ways that you can make sure you keep having sex, have sex once a week, Keep that connection and always foster sex and great sex in your relationship. Number two, honesty. Now, no one goes into a relationship intending to be dishonest. No one sets out their day thinking, I want to lie today, this is going to be great. But why do people end up lying or just not telling the full truth? We stack fears on top of our truths. We start to worry how our partner will react. We start to worry, oh, what if I lose him? And we start to want to hide things to keep the relationship bliss that we've had. The problem is, it kind of works for a while. You don't say that thing you wanted to say. You avoid that topic and, hey, things are good. We're still going along well. That behavior gets reinforced and the pattern starts to happen more and more. Eventually, communication breaks down and you can't be honest with each other because you can't say the hard things and the hard truths that you're too scared to say. You must always maintain honesty in your relationship in the long term if your relationship is to succeed. Number three, communication. I know it's cliche, but communication is and always will be important in your relationship. Think of times when you get angry. The gas bill was more than it should have been. Your plane didn't arrive on time. Your partner said he'd booked the restaurant and he didn't, or your partner was home late from work. Why? Why are you pissed off? It's because you expected something and that something didn't happen. So you feel pissed off about it. Now, if you were expecting that, you wouldn't have felt pissed off, right? Because you're expecting it. Why were you not expecting it? Because it wasn't communicated. Fights, arguments, disagreements are almost always a reflection of a lack of communication and someone's expectations not being met. So always communicate with your partner over everything. Make a habit of communicating with him and you'll have a great relationship in the long term. Number four, respect. And if there's anything that's possibly more important to your long-term relationship survival than communication, it is respect. If you lose communication for a little while, well, you can probably get that back. But if you lose respect for a little while, your relationship will be in the dust. If you treat him with disrespect, personal insults, violence, if you go and sleep with someone else, if you badmouth him to others, if you stop respecting your partner at any point, your relationship is going to go downhill fast. You must always maintain respect from both sides in your relationship. Number five, space. This is one that surprises a lot of people, but space is absolutely essential to long-term attraction, to long-term romance in your relationship. You must have times where you're apart from something as simple as you going to the gym or you going to painting class to maybe you even take a holiday on your own. It's that space that leaves room for desire and attraction. It's impossible to constantly last up, lust after something that you're always holding. Space is fundamental to appreciate what you have and to get away from it so you can want it again. Number six, trust. Trust in a relationship is everything. If you don't trust your partner, what do you have? Now, this isn't just relating to fidelity either. This can be talking about, well, do you trust him to get the jobs done that he said he would? Do you trust his word? Do you trust that he'll show up when he was supposed to? Do you trust that he'll be the man for you? Men love feeling like you can trust them and you love feeling like your partner can trust you. When you don't trust Honesty starts to go, communication goes, and eventually respect will go as well. You must foster trust in your relationship always. And if you feel like the trust is decreasing, then that is something you and your partner have to be honest and communicate on 
to get the trust back. Number seven is growth. You must always have growth in yourself and in your relationship to maintain happiness. Why? Well, if you're not growing, what are you doing? You're dying. If you're not growing, you're literally dying and the same applies to you as it does to your relationship. Happiness comes not from an end result, but from the journey along the way. It comes from solving problems and feeling like you're expanding beyond your problems as you grow. You have to be doing this with your partner and you have to be doing this on your own and encouraging your partner to do it on his own. When you're growing as individuals, when you're taking on new challenges, when you're doing new things together and you're building up, you're building up to have, yes, still problems, but better problems and problems that you grow through. You guys are growing as a couple and you're going through that process, that journey of happiness together on the way. Well, that is seven things. That is seven things that your relationship must have, that you must have in your relationship to keep your man and to keep love blossoming forever. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, that's it for this one, but make sure you subscribe as you always do. Hit the little bell so you know what's going on and give the video a thumbs up. Make sure you leave your comments, thoughts, questions, etc. below, and I shall see you in the next video very soon.